I wonder if he actually... Oh. Sexy scope? <laughs> Clara? <laughs> nice. Welcome back to another episode of Marimashita Irumakun. A quick recap to remind myself what happened last time. We joined the not Amity's Club. No, we didn't join Amity's Club. It looks like, Sa uh, what's his name? Asmodeus might be... J no, 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 no. Even Asmodeus is turning... He's not turning it down, but we ha he was the, the one that you know accepted the, the invitation on behalf of Iruma, right? No, we're all joining the magical uh, apparatus battler, right? And this is all run by Kiriwo, and Kiriwo is... Seemingly like a weak, timid, meek guy, but this guy is super important. Not only does he immediately come in with the same kind of necklace, the same metal that's made out of the gluttonous feeder ring, but he has a goal to even out the power gap between the demons. For the demons that don't have a lot of magic, we can use magical apparatus to basically use like, you know, to catch up to the people that do have the power. This is dangerous. Now, in an idealistic world, of course, this is like a really... <laughs> this is basically socialism, right? Like, we want to even out, let's have equity for everybody, equality for all demons, no matter what. But we know how the, there's so much prejudice here for the rankings. The higher rank people look down on the lower ranks so easily. And I have no doubt, just like in real life, the people at the top are gonna gatekeep and be opposed to this ideal no matter what. Unless we have the main character of this show to back that ideal up, right? We're slowly, slowly getting towards an actual goal, a dream for Iruma. Even though right now, this is more of Kiriwo's dream. But I think Iruma could help, you know, garner that. Garner that. Um, after that, we have a big, big introduction to not all the members, but very important people. The 13's dinner, right? These are like the highest executives, I guess, of a lot of the demon world. That basically just runs the entire place. These guys, there's a lot of people missing. I'm not sure if there's actually 13 people involved, but the only people that were actually present at the table was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. Um, I'm gonna use that being one of them. There are a lot of interesting characters, but even beyond that is the great three. Belial, Sullivan, Lady Levi, right? Those three are the ones that really rule over this place. And they're just like comparing grandchildren. Sullivan just casually brings in, hey, I have a grandchild too. And they're like, oh, where did you get that? He doesn't even look like you. Hold up. You don't even have a son. How did this happen? They're not asking the serious questions that even though he's being taken to prison for illegally going to the human world, right? Um, we know that humans are taboo. Like, people think like humans don't even exist in school. But only the highest ranked demons are able to go to Earth and meet the humans. I think Sullivan probably thought about this. I'm sure this is all part of his plan. Even if he's in jail, I have no doubt that he's going to be fine. It's, it's not that big of a problem, right? It was, it was just really exciting to meet all these new characters and these the world building is really, really fleshing out slowly but surely, right? So with that being said, let's start today's episode. He's being interrogated right now. He honestly got a decent meal at that jail. <laughs> One day. Mm, is it a false accusation, though? I mean, it's not like they'll ever. <laughs> yeah, someone set him up. No, he's eating completely. <laughs> he's eating so many. He's chilling. Oh, are they playing together right now? Is Opera playing with Iruma right now with his tail? Opera's really playing with his tail right now. <laughs> Pretty fast. <laughs> what shitty parents, man. If their parents are... His parents are so bad. But we got Sullivan, don't worry. Oh, he's getting a little nervous. And Gramps is bringing all the cameras and everything, too. There's so many of them. And we're going to have a musical again? We haven't seen her dad yet. Who is it? Hmm? <gasps> She has. She likes Karego, right? Yes, 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 yes. To Sullivan's place. He's gone though. Yeah, this is a scandal. This is a big scandal. If the chair demon is in prison right now, it's not a good look for the school, is it? <laughs> wow. This is kind of huge. Even though he's kind of pissed off at doing the work. He's, there, he's appointing Karego for that. Wow. Well, I, we, I guess we kind of really know of the teachers. He's really high up there, huh? His junior. 
Ah, uh, false charges as long as they don't find out. No, they're probably real, yes. One of the three greats. Mm -hmm. We did go to he we did go to Earth, but they can't prove it, right? Hmm. Is there a bigger plot? <laughs> Acting charity. <laughs> <laughs> also, the word chairman is hilarious because it sounds like it's like a demon of a chair. I know it's a chairman of the school, but when they say chair demon, it's like you're a demon chair or something. Oh, <laughs> dude, she is so into Kadago, man. I want to see something blossom between the two. Oh, okay, we're back at our club. What is she, a cat? Well, then again, she does get played by her own. Asmonis' mom. Lord of Seduction, right? She was the one that was missing from the 13th dinner. Lord of Seduction. Has to be mom, right? Maybe guardian? Hmm? Oh, that's fucking sad. Oh. Don't worry, one day your son will be... Wow, Kiriwo and Iruma can really relate to each other in a lot of ways. Even family backgrounds. Probably someone really important. Someone we know, maybe? Maybe not. Who is it? Who do we... Who is... It? Sounds like a delinquent. <laughs> My bed, bro. <laughs> Who's that? Sounds like a straight up delinquent, huh? <laughs> I wonder if he actually. Oh. Sexy scope? <laughs> Not Clara? <laughs> nice. Alright. How are we gonna do that? Oh, our, our lot is fucking tiny. Jesus. What is this? It's like an empty lot. We don't even have like a... Yeah, this is sad. I guess they really look down on us, huh? Even smaller than last year's? That's kind of clever, kind of mean. Kind of clever insult, but come on, man. Mm. Fireworks! Fireworks? Perfect. Does fireworks exist here? Do they understand what fireworks are? They've never seen fireworks before. This is huge then. Yeah, and you can make great art. It's... It can be used as a... I know it's more art, but you can... It's. I mean, it's pretty dangerous if you shoot at somebody. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Yes, I like Clara's ones, yes. Clara's got pajamas! Snacks! She's so ready for a sleepover. <laughs> yeah, how are you gonna make the fireworks? Like, it's not that simple, is it? He's bleeding out the mouth, but that's fine. He's, uh, explosive, uh, resistant. It's okay. Honestly, if anything, isn't his durability kind of crazy? He's always bleeding out the mouth. He's always getting an explosion. Hmm? A barrier? You can create a barrier like that? Hmm? How strong is it? Ameri. Hello, you got a shoujo manga ready to read? Now read this! Is there like a fireworks episode? Oh, it's the festival. It's like a summer festival chapter. <laughs> and then and then as soon as we're off to confess, the fireworks goes off and we can't... I love you! And then the fireworks just, you know... Exactly, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Every time there's supposed to be any kind of development, they're wrong. I couldn't hear you conveniently! 
Okay, we'll get to another fucking 100 chapters until fireworks again. Read. Time to read. Nah, yeah, oh, you charmer. <gasps> it's a secret family relic and hold up. This is the secret between us two. Yuma, come on, use your charm. Come on. Give her a puppy eyes. Oh! The puppy Oh, she feels bad for him now. Yeah, we're gonna make some fireworks. Yes. Boom! Yes! Yes. Well, you gotta give it over. Come on, you gotta give it over. Or you can go you can go with Edom and help him out. If you're so you know, if it's securities that's Oh, I'm pretty tired. Oh, I'll just leave the book here. It'd be unfortunate if someone took it. <laughs> but as long as they bring it back, I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> oh, come on. Try to act a little bit better, but this is pretty cute. Okay. <laughs> Accidentally, sure, sure. Alright, let's see. Oh, this is exciting. What's it gonna be? Whoa. That's pretty good for a first try, no? Pretty cool. It's actually amazing that he was able to make one out of the shoujo manga. Like, you learn how to engineer it through the... The manga didn't tell you shit. What do you mean? <laughs> you mean? Whatever, whatever. I'm fine. Aww. Can you even go to bed now? <laughs> oh, it's his first sleepover. Aww. A dream? Yeah? Oh, this is like so wholesome. They're making such nice memories. Yes. The fireworks are gonna really exceed everyone's expectation, I hope. When are we gonna get that this episode? We only have a couple minutes left. No, I think it might be next episode at this rate. They're getting along really well, though. A lot of things in common, and it's just so easy to get along. Both of them are so. I don't know. So easy to get along. But who's the senpai, though? Who is a senpai? We are getting ready. What are we? Bow? You're destroying the school? Oh, he's the one that tipped them off. Huh. The fuck? He's one of the third team. His name is Bao, the really young one. How does he know? So maybe he's not such a nice guy then. It's just all an act? Oh, dude! Look at him slicking his hair back! Yo, have you seen Bleach? You know Aizen, right? Fucking Aizen! He was like, oh, it's... When, he, when he had his like hair down with his glasses. Such a nice, you know, innocent guy. And then as soon as he turns evil, <laughs> slicks his hair back. What's up? Oh my god. So, I don't want to completely accept that Kiriwo is a bad person, but clearly there's some ulterior motives going on here. Why is he a rank 2 bet that seems like a nobody in contact with one of the 13? Bal. Also, I'm not sure if it's correct to call them one of the 13. They want to destroy the school. But I wonder if destroying the school has something to do with like um, destroying like the structure, like the, the ranking of how everything is done. Like not literally like destroy as in we're gonna kill all the students and bring the school down, but rather restructure society how it is through eliminating the power gap. Is the power gap just all bullshit now? The fuck? <sighs> I don't want to give Van and Kitty Wall already. We've like invested like I guess like two or three episodes so far, but is he really just that bad? Really? After it's gonna hurt Iruma so much if he's actually just a bad guy because we have so many things in common. We have a common goal that we're working together. And, uh, I want to believe that's not the case, but at this rate, I don't know, man. So, what, yeah, in the comments, you guys let me know. I, I said before, there's no antagonist yet. What are we doing? I guess we have our first antagonist in the form of Bal and Kiryu. I hope it's not the case, but Bal. Very interesting. Only thing I know about him is that he's like one of the youngest members of the like the executive demons, and he's very cocky and seems like electric lightning power. So 
let, let's just have some fireworks first and then go to the heavy ship. Maybe the fireworks doesn't even happen. I don't know. Maybe some deep shit happens. We'll find out next episode. But hey, if you stick around this long, if you don't enjoy my reaction, you already know what I'm going to say. Check out the other videos and playlists on the channel if you watch another video immediately after this one. It helps you to push that my small channel to be recommended so that I have a chance to compete with some of your favorite reactors. Until next time, guys, take care.